Hello, welcome to this tutorial in which we're going to have a look at um, how to solve equations in which the power has to be found. Now if you have x to the power of m equals to x to the power of n, that means the base is the same and assuming there's only one term on either side, then the powers must be equal. So m must equal n. That's basically what we're going to try and do. It's like question one, which is quite a nice um, starter. If you think you know how to do these questions, you can pause and have a go there and come back. I don't have a problem with that. Okay, here we go. Now, 5 to the power of n means you're multiplying 5 by itself so many times, n times in fact. But it's equal to 1, 2, 5, and the question is, how many times do you multiply 5 by itself to get 125? Well, the answer is 3 times. So 1, 2, 5 is equal to 5 cubed. Now that the base is the same, we can say that n equals to 3. And that's the answer we're looking for. The second one is a bit more involved. We must have the base the same, and they're not. And can you see which base we should use? Well, the answer is we need to use base 3. So we're going to change that 9 to the power of x and write it as 3 squared to the power of x equals to 3 to the power of x plus 2. And then we'll use rule number 1, where if you raise a power to a power, you multiply the powers together. And 2 times x is 2x, so you get 3 to the power of 2x equals to 3 to the power of x plus 2. Now that the base is the same, we can say that 2x equals x plus 2, which means the powers are equal. Now if you subtract subtract 2x um, from both sides, you get x equals to 2. And if you want to, you can put that 2 back into the original expression. 9 to the power of x would be 9 to the power of 2, which is 81. And 3 to the power of x plus 2 becomes 3 to the power of 4, which is also 81. So you can do a check on that. Remember, this is non-calculator. Question 3, we have a base 4 and a base 8. And we need to use base 2. So it will be 2 squared raised to the power of x plus 1. And that's equals to 2 cubed for the 8 to the power of 2x minus 1. And if we multiply the powers on each side, we get 2 to the power of 2 times x plus 1 equals to 2 to the power of 3 times 2x minus 1. Now that the base is the same, we can write that the powers are equal. And I'm going to expand the brackets at the same time. So I get 2x plus 2 equals 6x minus 3. Okay? Subtract 2x from both sides, you get 2 equals to 4x minus 3. Add 3 to both sides, you get 5 equals to 4x. So I'm moving across here because of space. So what does x equal? Well, divide both sides by 4, and you get 5 over 4, and you can leave it like that. Okay? I hope so. Right. The next lot, uh, number four, involves a division. I've written down three rules that we may, we may use in solving these questions. But the first thing to do is to have the same base. So can you see that we'll have to write the 8 as 2 cubed to the power of x divided by 
2 to the power of x stays because we're using base 2 and this is 2 to the power of 4. If we simplify the 2 to the power of 3x, 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x becomes 2 to the power of 3x, that's using rule number 1, divided by 2 to the power of x, and that equals 2 to the power of 4. Using rule number 2, because there's a division, if we subtract the powers, we'll get 2 to the power of x, sorry, 2 to the power of 2x, because it's 3x minus, two, minus x, is 2x, equals 2 to the power of 4. So 2x equals 4, the powers are equal if the base are the same, divide by 2, x equals to 2. Okay, sorry about the spacing. Next one, number 5, is a 32 and a square root of 2. Well, the right-hand side is giving us a clue as to what base we should use, and it's in fact base 2. So 32 is 2 to what power? Well, the answer is 5, and the square root of 2, using rule number 3, it's the second root, so n equals to 2. So it's 2 to the power of 1 over n, meaning 1 over half. 1 over 2, rather, not 1 over a half. <laughs> Sorry about that. Now, using the fact that you can add the powers when the base is the same, we get 2 to the power of 5.5, .5, or 5 and a half, equals 2 to the power of n. So n equals 5.5, .5, and that would be the answer. Okay? Number 6 is not an equation to solve, but it is an exam style question. You're asked to express 8 to the power of 2x plus 1 in the form 2 to the power of y. And then to write y in terms of x. So the clue is that you should change it to base 2. Well, 8 is 2 cubed, and that's raised to the power of 2x plus 1. And using rule 1, we multiply the powers, so it's 2 to the power of 3 brackets 2x plus 1. And if I expand the brackets out, I get 2 to the power of 6x plus 3. And we're told that's equivalent to 2 to the power of y. The base is the same. The powers are the same. So y equals to 6x plus 3. And that's what it meant by stating y in terms of x. Okay? Okay. The last question, again similar to question 6, we're asked to, um, to express the following in terms of a, where a is 2 to the power of x. Now, whenever it says that, it doesn't mean literally just a. So the answer could be 5a, or it could be 6 over a. Okay, so the first one, uh, we're going to use rule number one backwards. So the base is A, so 2 is the base. It must have come from 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of 3. And of course, 2 to the power of x here is A, and 2 cubed is 8, so the answer is 8A. That's what it means by in terms of A. Okay? The second one, um, some division must have happened, so it's rule number two, where we're subtracting the powers. So it must have been 2 to the power of 3 over 2 to the power of x. 2 to the power of 3 is 8. 2 to the power of x is A. So the answer is 8 over a. Okay, I've just added one quick one here as the last one. Time is running out. It's 4 to the power of 2 minus x, and I've used rule number 2 backwards and written it as 4 squared divided by 4 to the power of x. That's where it comes from. 4 squared is 16, and since we want a base 2, we need to change the 4 to 2 squared to the power of x. Now, you might be tempted to multiply those powers, 2 times x, but I would suggest we use rule number 3, 
where you can interchange the powers. So it's 16 over 2 to the power of x squared. The reason is 2 to the power of x is a. So you get 16 over a squared and it's quicker. Okay? Well, I hope you found that useful. Until the next one, take care. Thanks for listening.